Okay, so let's work on refactoring the validation uh, displaying uh, part and we are going to make it a bit better. So what I'll do is I'll just create a new component called, okay, we already have that in here. So I think this came with the breeze package. So yeah, we can use this thing and we are gonna pass in a message prop and we are checking if we have them if we have the message only then we are displaying this message in here so we can use this in the create page so let's go ahead and do that so instead of passing in the form sort error sort name what we can do is we can input error and the message is gonna be forms.errors.name and we also need to import this thing from the components input error.svelte and now we can do the same for other fields as well so i think github copilot will work in this case but it didn't so let's go ahead and do that do that ourselves okay now it's gonna do it Let's do the same for the phone number as well. And this thing is giving an incomplete suggestions for the class ID and for the section ID. Okay, let's give it a try. And if this thing is working fine, then we'll implement that in the edit page as well. So what I'll do is I'll just pass in an email address okay we are getting an disabled issue so i already implemented this uh, in the breeze package so the disable attribute for the buttons so that's coming from there i guess but yeah this does not really matter because okay this is coming from the content script so the this is the issue related to the form filler extension so yeah, you can ignore that and let's try to pass an email that already exists and let's select a section click on save okay we were redirected back okay we didn't have that email address i guess because this is the students table and the email address existed for the users table so yeah they, sh they should now throw a validation error save and okay the email has already been taken and it's also working for this as well so yeah this looks good and now let's go ahead and implement that for the edit page as well these are all simple stuff so if you have uh, followed along all this while then this should be pretty simple for you and one more thing that i want to mention here is that instead of passing in the input fields and labels like this uh, we can uh, use the input label and these components that are already available to us uh, so we can use them but yeah let's see i think i might implement that later but this is a uh, really simple stuff so you can implement that yourself as well so yeah let's continue this part for now and let's finish it okay this thing is not working so well so form dot errors dot email and the same for the class id input error message is going to be found on errors class id and let's do the same for the section id as well okay this should now work so yeah that's it for this part and in the next part we will be looking at implementing the flash messages so we'll be displaying those messages uh, in the front end so whenever we send in any flash messages from the back end so we are going to do it in a proper way and yeah that's also going to be an interesting one so see you guys in the next one